If you've purchased the PC version of the excellent game Splinter Cell Blacklist from either Steam or Ubisoft directly, and oh, it keeps crashing. crashing during each new mission, it crash. Damn it. then this is what you need to do. First thing, find out where the executable for the file is located. For me, it's under Steam library. For you, it might be under program files. And here's my executable launcher. First thing you're going to want to do is make a shortcut of this executable. How you do this, Win25, right click, show more options, create shortcut. And then you can cut or copy that shortcut to your desktop. Okay. Then the next thing you want to do is right click on that new shortcut, go to properties, underneath the target location, you're going to add a string of text to the end. And you must do this precisely. There is a space after the final quotation mark that contains the target for launching the shortcut, the executable. There's a space that needs to be there. Then there's a hyphen, and then it's offline in another space, and a hyphen offline underscore mode, and that's it. I'm going to copy that text into the description of this video, so you can just copy and paste it, um, but you must have that gap at the start. So I'll put the what you need to copy within quote marks themselves, but don't copy the quote marks. OK, then you apply it. And now all you have to do is double click on that shortcut, and it runs the game in offline mode. This game is 2013. It hasn't been supported officially in updates, server, or anything you know, online co-op play for some years. It is an excellent game, though. Really enjoyed playing it. And I'll give you a couple more tips uh, just at the end of this when we've dealt with it. So it launches. Um, it's going to launch Ubisoft and it's going to ask you to put in uh, your password. Unfortunately, it seems to do that each time. So it doesn't save it. It launches it. One of the first things you may notice is the aspect ratio is a bit small. I'm playing this on controller. Uh, so when it launches up, the first thing you're going to want to do is go into settings and adjust that. And you have to wait here when you do that. Go into settings, go down to video settings, and just simply change it from window to full screen. That's the easier way than uh, adjusting your resolution. You can do that as well as we want. You can do your frame rates, monitor as uh, aspect ratio. The easiest thing is just change this window to full screen, and then uh, old game, you need, to, you need to click apply. Now, what may happen sometimes at this point is the game can crash, like this here. So what you need to do is launch it again, but this time will hold in full screen mode and it won't crash anymore. You can play this game from start to finish. It's not going to crash. And see, it's full screen now. Press any key and you're good to go. This fixed it for me. Streamed it from the start and it kept crashing. Uh, then after making this fix, I've spent many, many hours playing this, playing it again. Yep, what's completed. Um, one little tip to consider is uh, if this is your first time playing it, play it through on rookie setting. There's a difficulty. Factionist is, is <laughs> for, for the very best of the game. But if you play it through on rookie, the game favors stealth and it is very hard to complete the game 100% any of the missions in 100% in stealth mode. But with rookie, things are just a bit easier and you can uh, level up, earn money and customize your gear a lot easier quicker. I would say one of the weapons to prioritize is the alternative weapon. Um, you need to unlock it first through uh, Platin controls and, and up. the plane. And uh, this this one here, the SC400 with a ACOG on it is a game changer. You can basically snipe with this. Okay, hopefully you found that helpful and uh, this fixes the problem you've been having.